So, Gwendolyn Bennett, tell us more about your life. I was born on July 18th, 1902, and I was born in Texas. Ah! It's a girl! I spent the four, first four years of my life on an Indian reserve. Ha ho wa he ha ho 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 ha ho wa he ha ho ho ho. But then my parents started having troubles in their marriage. You can have it. Oh, I hate you. You're a terrible oh, husband. Water, no. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, we're getting a divorce. Oh. So they decided to settle the custody battle in court and got a divorce. I give the custody of the baby to the mother. And at that very moment, my father started to formulate a plan. So my father decided to kidnap me in the night. So we hopped from state to state, and we finally settled in New York. <laughs> and then I went to a prestigious all-girls high school, and I won a National Art Award. Congratulations! Thank you! After graduating high school, I went to the colleges Columbia and Pratt for my undergraduate degree. And also during this time, I had a, co I had a column called Heritage for the magazine Opportunity. I also wrote Nocturne in November in 1923. Right. After studying in Columbia and Pratt, I had the opportunity to go study in France in 1925. While I was in France, I studied many medias of art. As I studied the medias of art, my art flourished. After I got back from France, I started all my art from my mother's house. Sadly, most of my art was lost in a fire when my stepmother's house burned down. Then I began my teaching career at Howard University. There I met my student Alfred, who became my first husband. Hi, my name is Gwendolyn. Shame. Because Alfred was my student and we got married, many people did not approve of our relationship. So therefore, I had to resign from Howard University, and me and my husband Alfred moved from Florida. From there, things went south. You know what? I hate this neighborhood. Why can't you support it? You can't even pay the bills. I hate this neighborhood. Well, it's not my fault. You haven't wrote anything in three years. And then, in 1930... Good. Oh, good friends! While at a party for Opportunity, Opportunity Magazine, I was able to meet some of my most famous heroes, Zora Neale Hurston and Langston Hughes. When I talked to these people, I realized I should become a more driving force in the Harlem Renaissance. So, how are you? Oh, oh you're you are very, very good. Oh, thank, thank you so much. Yes, I love your short stories. Yes. Thank you. Oh, oh and you your poetry. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. well, too bad they got destroyed in that fire. Oh, yeah, that is uh, just very, very sad. <laughs> so after that, I started teaching at George Washington Carver wow. University. I received many negative comments there, complaining that I was a communist. Because of these comments, I resigned. I then married my second husband, Richard, and we became antique dealers, and we moved to Pennsylvania. In 1980, he died. In 1981, I died. Thank you for your interesting story. Wait, you died? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> 